Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to solve a polynomial inequality or an inequality involving also absolute value. So like absolute value equation uh, in a inequality, we need to break this inequality into. The first one will be x squared plus 3x minus 16 greater than 12. So keep everything you see there. Just drop the absolute value. The second one will be x squared plus 3x minus 16 less than 12. So the negative 12. Sorry. Okay. And uh, we need to solve each individual inequality. Let's start with the first one. Where we're going to subtract 12 first. x squared plus 3x. And if we subtract 12, negative 16 minus 12 is negative 28. Greater than 0. And uh, now I'm going to factor out. And this will be x plus 7, x minus 4, two numbers whose product is uh, negative 28 and the sum is positive 3. Those are the two numbers. And that will give us the two solution, x equals negative 7, x equals 4. If you notice, I make it equals to 0. And these are the two solution i'm going to put them in this table let me call this f of x okay negative seven and four we get zeros here and now let's check the sign for this polynomial f of x and for that reason i'm going to use zero in here so if i use zero zero plus seven is a positive number zero minus four is a negative number and at the positive times a negative is a negative. And you notice how I put a sign in the table. I start with a negative uh, for that zero, which in this case is in the middle, and then the sign alternate. Okay, so we have a set of solution here uh, for this inequality that will be uh, negative infinity, negative seven, how we see in the table for infinity. Okay, and the union sign here. Now let's move to the second equation. Inequality, in fact, x squared plus 3x minus 16 less than negative 12. And we're going to use the same technique. We're going to want to have 0 on the right side. So in this case, we're going to add 12. So we have x squared plus 3x. Negative 16 plus 12 would be negative 4 less than zero. Again, we're going to factor out here. We're going to have x um, plus four, x minus one. That will be the factor form equals zero. That will give you the two solution. x equals negative four, x equals one. And now we can do the sign table for this polynomial, which I'm going to call it g of x. And I'm going to put in this table negative 4 first. The polynomial is 0, 1, the polynomial is 0. And it looks like I can use the same 0 as a checking point, testing point. If I use 0, I get here 0 plus 4, which is a positive number. 0 minus 1 is a negative number. A product of a positive and a negative number is a negative number. 0 being between negative 4 and 1. You notice I put those negative signs right there. And the sign will alternate here also. And we look into the solution set for this case. This case says less than zero. Be careful. That will be between negative four and one. And now we look into these two solution. We need to do the union of these two solution, right? Why? Why the union? Because. We should have, I should have put the word or here. 
right? Whenever you have an absolute value or like this or greater than, uh, you need to break it using the word or, okay? So if we put these two solutions together, we get a solution set of negative infinity, negative seven, this piece, union of negative four and one, this piece, union of four infinity. That's the solution of this absolute value inequality involving polynomial. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this screen. You can uh, copy, but and I want you to take a look to the graphical way. This is the graph of absolute value of x squared plus 3x minus 16 minus 12. Just let me be sure you can put this in a graphing calculator, this function. And notice is over the x-axis here, negative infinity, negative 7. Here, negative 4, 1, and 4, infinity. So the graphical way, if you, it's, it's also a good way, a faster way, if you know how to adjust the window and so on. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.